Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, I'll be replacing the hard drive on this HP laptop. Let me turn on the computer, show you the error message. So when a computer is turned on, and the first thing it says here on the top left corner, it says boot device not found. Sorry, the, the glare, you guys are not able to see it. It says boot device not found, and hot disk error message 3F0. That is the error message for missing hard drive or the hard drive has failed. Press and hold the power button. Let's shut down the computer and remove the hard drive. So turn it around, get a Phillips screwdriver. I'll be removing all the screws here. So at the bottom have three screws. One, two, the missing screws here in the middle and the final screws so is the uh, at the bottom left corner. There are four screws on the top. Remove the four screws using a Phillips screwdriver. Once you have removed all the screws, the next thing is to go ahead and open up the back cover. I'll be using a metal prying tool to kind of stick in between. Oh, I hear something uh, kind of sliding down internal part of it. I wonder what that is. So kind of open a little gap here and the rest I'll be using a plastic prying tool to pry it open. Remove the back cover. And let's find that little thing that was running around. I wonder what that is. I hear it, but I don't see it. And then it's not falling off. It must have been something here. So anyways, off the topic, uh, something that may have been stuck internally right here. Yeah, I finally hear it. So we are here to troubleshoot the hard drive while I am troubleshooting and I hear something that is sliding like around the laptop and I'm trying to figure it out what that is. Oh, right here, found it. So it's a piece of a plastic that got snapped and it kind of stuck in the hinge right next to the screen. So. I see the guy, I need to kind of get it out. It's right there. Okay, we'll, we'll decide what happens. Doesn't seem like it's coming out of it, so. Okay, anyway, that is unexpected. I wasn't expecting to do all that in this video, so I'm sorry. Apologize in advance. Um, let's jump right into the hard drive. So this one here, um, the, there's no hard drive in here. You can see that the cable wasn't connected. We are re referring to this M.2 M.2 SSD drive. This is where the hard drive has all the information. Now, um, we need to remove and replace. This is 512 gigabytes, Kingston. Um, not, not sorry, not Kingston, Kingfast. 
Anyway, if you're trying to recover the data, you need to buy one of these USB M.2 adapter. I'll link it down in the description below where you can get it from either Amazon or eBay. Um, more likely, you can get it from eBay. So go ahead and uh, buy one of this adapter and you want to slide it in. Okay, close it down, put a screw, tighten it up and plug it to a different computer. Hopefully, the second computer able to pull out some of the information or run a data recovery. Hopefully, you guys can recover the data. But for my case, I'll be replacing this with a, a different hard drive. Insert and I'm going to close it down. Now, since the hard drive is brand new, there won't be have any windows on it. Definitely, um, I need to have the USB to install the windows. You can download them or you can buy one of these uh, USB installer. You can get it and try to install the windows. Um, don't waste the money to buy them. Go ahead and download it from Microsoft website. And if you try to recover the data, just invest in one of these USB M.2 adapter. Uh, that should be it. And, um, and what else was gonna say? This is a secondary hard drive. This one is just an empty box um, for you to remove and stick it in two and a half inch M.2 SSD drive. <coughs> and then um, connect this connector into this uh, slot right here and that should be it and you should be able to see your stuff for a second a secondary storage now i'm just going to put everything back together and do the window installation um, separately i do not want to do it in this video just wanted to show it to you how to replace and remove the broken m.2 ssd drive thanks for watching until next time bye now